Some of the great moments in theater and cinema are really improvised. I think of the legendary Jack Nicholson and some of his great moments on the big screen. Well, I was in New York City for the Peabody Awards, proudly sponsored by my alma mater, the Grady College of Communication at the University of Georgia, and the MC was Keegan Michael Key from the Key and Peel series, and he was hilarious. His interaction with the presenters and the recipients was really very special. I thought, well, someone wrote a great script, and soon I realized that I could see the teleprompter, and I started to read his script, and it was apparent that what he was sharing was off script. He was improvising. He was relating to and reacting with his guests, and the audience loved it. That's really an important lesson for fundraising professionals and nonprofit leaders. I was talking with a client a few months ago as we were about to embark on the solicitation phase of a campaign, and I mentioned that we would be preparing scripts for every visit to be sure that the staff and volunteer leaders all felt comfortable. Along with that, we would prepare research and have a preliminary meeting to review each visit in advance. Our client shared that she was visiting with a fellow CEO working with another consulting firm and they had also prepared scripts, but it wasn't an outline. The expectation was that every word would be memorized, that points of emphasis would be emphasized, the gestures would be made. I thought about the terrible pressure that CEO must have felt and how it would become transparent on the donor visits. A script is a guideline. I think, too, of a CEO we worked with years ago who had the terrible tendency to over-rehearse. And I'll never forget him speaking at a building dedication where he would say to the crowd, thank you, with his arms and gesture. He pivoted, thank you, with the same arm gestures. He pivoted one more time, thank you. It was robotic. It was impersonal. It wasn't from the heart. It was a script. When you're visiting with a donor, you want to be able to go with the flow. You want to do more listening than talking. And if you're going to ask for a gift, it's not the first visit. It's probably one in a series of visits. You've already provided information. There's no need to share a video or have them endure a PowerPoint presentation. So listen, be prepared, but don't memorize. Remember, this is a relationship, not a performance. Speak from the heart and not a script and be ready and willing to accept a generous and incredible gift from your donors. <music>